All right, good morning. Hey, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I, I am well also, thank you so much. Um, so the public understands, this is uh, A, my first attempt uh, with, with this program, but even more so, it's our first meeting. Uh, yes. So there may be some stumbling and bumbling with uh, <laughs> my questions and or your answers. So I'm sure that all will be forgiven. Yes, so let, definitely. Uh, let, let, let's just start right in. Um, name? Sabrina Fala. Fala. Okay. Um, <laughs> what first uh, uh, got you into music? How long ago? Oh, well, before I could speak, my parents would say I, I would be humming tunes. So I guess I was just brought into the world going into music because Ever since I was born, I've always been into music. I was writing poetry, writing short stories. Um, I started learning the piano. I grabbed the guitar. And then uh, I also started to write songs myself and playing the gu guitar. I never, I never wrote songs with piano. I learned the piano for the theory of it, but I, the guitar was easier to write the lyrics to, for me. Okay. So, yeah, so on, um, I won my first singing competition at 14, and that led me to realize I wanna, I, I wanna do this. I wanna perform and, and hopefully one day tour the world. You, know, you never know, things can happen. A amen, amen. Small miracles are miracles <laughs> indeed. Uh, when you say like, how, um, like you learned the piano, you learned the guitar. So how many instruments can you play? Just those two. Just those two. But yeah. that's that's how you write your music typically with with just the guitar, you yes. and some thoughts and ideas. Yes, okay. definitely. Yes. Was there? When you were first like being introduced to music, so to speak, were mm -hmm. there particular artists that you looked at and listened to and said, you know, I like this style as opposed well, to that? Yeah, well, when I first started, I would listen to like Michelle Branch, Avril Lavigne, Kelly Clarkson, Simple Plan style of music. But as I grew up, I started listening to Green Day, Bon Jovi, and Billy Idol. And, but when I heard Green Day, that was when I realized I wanted to be a rock singer. But um, I'm very open. I listen to different styles, but I look up to Green Day for my influence and my inspiration in my music. Okay, so uh, what, what, take me through if you could, um like a, a, a creative process for you. Okay, so you have a thought in your mind. Oh, you know, I got to write about this. Yes. Um, what's what's the typical routine uh, uh, that Sabrina would follow with regards to taking that idea out of your mind and putting it down on a piece of paper in lyric form and then right. notes uh, uh, for, for to back that up? Right, so I like to think of the, the theme um, what is it that I'm trying to say? And then I would try to think of a couple song titles because I like to have the titles writ written to look at. Okay. Uh, some, some people write the song and then get the title, but I like having some ideas in front of me. Um, sometimes I write the, the chorus first because the chorus is, is the hook. And, or sometimes I write the bridge first. <laughs> Right. Sometimes I write the ending. Um, uh, my mind, I, I normally write down what I think of first and then I organize it because sometimes the hook comes first, sometimes the bridge, sometimes the verse, yep. sometimes the last line comes first um, and then you go ar around it. There's a lot of structure, but I, I don't go A, B, A, B, you know, I just write it and then in the end I'm like, that's the order, that's the way I'm going to say it. But that's when I'm writing it. If I'm co-writing with someone, it's different because you have a different person in the room with you, they have ideas too, and it goes even faster. 
Okay. The songwriting goes faster. So typically, like you had said in the beginning, uh, typically you like writing um, or, or, or having the uh, the name of the, the title of the song yes. first. So you find that kind of sets the tone for you as far as yeah. it's going to go yeah. in the yeah. song itself? Yeah. Um, so um, of your music right now that you... Uh, you have that EP, uh, is it an EP or is it a full length now? Because you- Oh, I, ha I have a compilation with, with all, all of my songs in it. Okay. So. And of those, of there were 12 songs, I believe? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how many, um, how many of those songs are all yours versus like co-written with, with somebody else or? 11. 11 are all yours. Yeah, because the everything, the last track was actually written by by the producer who, who recorded it with me, okay. Chris Burkett, and his daughter May Burkett wrote it. And he actually, after he heard my voice and I worked with him a bit, he actually said, I would like you to sing this song. He felt that song could fit my, my, my vocal range. And when I sang it, I'm like, wow, he was right. It fit it, fit it perfectly. So... He gave me the song to sing, and I feel like it's mine because I can actually relate to being under pressure as a teenager, trying to fit in and stuff. So, yeah. So it's okay. So I, and I also like to sing songs that I can relate to, or else I can't put the real feeling into it. Sure. Well, that's yeah. you know, I, I, I obviously I've heard that you know uh, a particular <laughs> you know. Um, singing covers is fun. Yes. But singing your own material, you know, obviously elevates not only the song, but you. It has to feel real. It, it has to be from the heart. Okay. And uh, uh, if you had an opportunity, uh, granted, you're, you're right now, you know, at the beginning phase of this particular you know you're starting to get played on mm -hmm. mainstream radio mm -hmm. um congrats by the way thank you um, I, but when did you start that journey how long ago or over a oh, year over a year ago okay and so you <laughs> fight the mainstream so to speak <laughs> until until you got here um well what happened is it took me a whole year to keep on sending stuff out till somebody said i'll give her a chance and if i can mention who can i mention who gave me the chance i i, I don't see why not i i mean All right. it, yeah yeah so um ron carson from wsbs radio in massachusetts oh answered my email and said i'm gonna give this girl a chance and um so he interviewed me. I, I didn't expect to get interviewed. I thought they would just play my song, but they gave me an interview. And um, and I, actually the music director that he had to go to the, to, to finalize this yeah. actually liked my music too. So that got me even in more. The main guy who, 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 ex, who accepts the music submissions had to say yes. Thank God. <laughs> I'm happy. No. Thank you. <laughs> and um, WSBS. And, um, yeah. And where are they located? I, I know in Ma Mass Massachusetts, I think. That's, that's where they, I. They have they have like three states, like Boston or Massachusetts, or, um, Connecticut. Like they go out. Okay. Like it, it, it reaches a lot of find states. Find out where they are, um, and thank them. Um, because yeah. <laughs> I'm and, I'm also uh, in Massachusetts. And, okay, cool. And I'm right so outside you should know the station. Yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to find it because I've. I can definitely send you the link to their site if you want me to. Yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. Uh, because obviously. So, yeah. So what happened afterwards? After I did the interview and they played two songs, everything went well. The music director loved the interview, which is good for me because you know that was my first mainstream interview and I was a bit nervous, but. I got some good feedback. And then a couple months later, Ron re-aired our interview. 
because he wanted to re-air it again. And after that, people started calling in to get my songs played more, to request it. And after that day, all I did was send more songs to other stations. And then I mentioned that WSBS radio is playing me and they accepted me after that. Wow. So I just needed that one station to accept me and that helped me get more stations. Sure. Sure. And, and and as I got more, I just added more to my emails. So I show people because you have to show people who's playing you. So they get encouraged to play you too. And, and like right now with um, the inability to perform live. Yeah. How do you like continue to push forward um, so that, I, I mean, are you writing new material? Are you um, performing live in your living room and recording <laughs> it or, or, you know, broadcasting it? What are you doing to keep yourself uh, uh, active? I am trying to stay very positive and keeping myself, like, not to go down because, because of this lockdown, you are forced to stay inside and not go out very much. But I, I am writing music, I am singing in, in, in the house, but not for people. Okay. Um, I'm also um, sending out to more radio stations, trying to get more interviews, trying to get magazine interviews. I'm just doing all of that to keep myself busy. I haven't stopped doing what I was doing before. The only thing I'm not doing is going out and singing out outside and, and interacting with people outside. And near near to you, um, uh, I, I, I'm not sure we told people, um, you, you're in Ontario, mm -hmm. um, Canada, and are you uh, located in a, uh, like a place where there are plenty of places for you to get out and perform at? Or do you have to travel uh, uh, for a bit? Um, I sometimes go to Toronto. It's just five hours drive. But Ottawa is good, but Toronto is bigger. Okay. So you're but but the festivals here are good too. I've done the festivals. Okay. But for, for me, I go wherever I can perform. So even if I have to fly to the states, I'll go to the states. If that's a big if that's an opportunity that's gonna get me heard and seen in front of more people, I'm gonna take that. I'm not the type to stay in my area. Okay. I okay. want to be known, so I go to those opportunities. Okay. Uh, you, uh, earlier, you had said um, that you're, you know, still obviously honing your craft. You're singing around the house. You know, um, what's your favorite song to sing in the shower? <laughs> right now. It's Lucky One by Simple Plan. Okay, okay. That's I good. don't know, it's just stuck in my head. Okay, no, that's that's good. Uh, the fact that you sing in the shower is also kind of funny. And, and it actually echoes, so it's it's nice. It's a, it's a good chamber. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wanna say my largest audience, for me personally, has been the shower. So, <laughs> <laughs> and but it makes you think like you are in front of people because oh yeah, of, the, oh yeah. of the, the, the the way the the voice is flowing in the shower. Yeah. So do you have do you have any favorite venues uh, that you performed at or favorite shows um, right now that uh, really stand out for you that has made any kind of impact? Hmm. You had said you. I think uh, there's a there's a lot of them, so I'm trying to think. But I did go to Barbados for the Whole Town Festival, and because I was the only Canadian that was there, they would call me Miss Ottawa, which which was cute <laughs> because they they all said, "Oh, look, it's the Canadian girl." Yeah. Oh no. Nice. So, okay. so I did that one, and I did the Tula Festival here which they were very nice. I even had people come up on stage after my set and I'm like, how did they get up here? Through the, 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 the way, the, the gate, like how did you even get 
yeah. on my stage. Right. And I and I did the Super X many years ago. It's not there anymore. They moved it somewhere. I, I don't know where. But I would be singing every day for two, like like two three times a day. But hot weather but it was great exposure and that's how I started doing the festivals and at that time I was learning to perform and interacting with people so that was all practice for me okay. and it, it was fun I was young if I could go back and do it again I would it was fun okay. so for venues um, the hideout in Toronto the sound the sound guy was so good the night I went there was amazing. Oh, okay. The sound guy did a very good job there. Like, I, I've had good sound guys, but at that time, I was like, wow, he knew how to do it. Because sometimes some of them don't know how to bring the mic up and stuff. Yep. I've been, I've been through a lot of like, man, <laughs> do it right. But that night was amazing. Like the, the guitar sounded great. The mic was perfect at the right spot. Even my voice was sounding good that night because you know oh, some no. days the voice don't don't your voice doesn't sound the same every day. But that that I I remember that night I was like wow, that was a good night. <laughs> well, yeah, that's so. obviously that's good. I, I I definitely believe that um, you know sound guys are you know that that missing member to the band, so to speak, because yeah. they really set the tone, they st you know, the night. You know, if you've got a good sound guy, chances are you're gonna have a good performance. You know? Um, yeah. Do you have your music on streaming services? I have it on iTunes and on Apple Music, Rhapsody, eMusic, and Spotify if you wanna stream it. Okay. And um, they and also a Amazon too. Okay. Yeah. And they would just look under Sabrina Fala. Yeah. Okay. You pretty much just put Sabrina Fala in Google. It, it will all come up for you. Yeah. It, now, ha, the streaming services. I occasionally will read um, how your popular bands slash musicians. Um, aren't really fond of the streaming because they get paid so little. Mm. Um, how do you think the internet um, has affected your opportunities, good, bad, or otherwise, with regards to you know streaming services versus um, the only way to get your music is to you know have it physically in your hands, be it CD, right. set, or album. Uh, do you find the internet a good tool or do you think it's kind of uh, detrimental to the music industry? Mm, both ways. Um, okay. Because because everything is online now, the record sales have gone down, it's gone to digital. But I'm the type of person that still wants the record in my hand. So I will go to the store and get the record. Okay. Because I, I like the physical copy. But um, everything's online now because of social media. So, so do you find? But, but yeah. Uh, do you find that um, your like? Do you have a physical CD or, or um, something? I do. That yeah, I can, do yeah. of my first record. My first record. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and that's they, they can get that. Um, if they want it, they have to come to me because I have to mail it to them. <laughs> okay. And what is the, uh, what would be your, um, the website for you again? Uh, Sabrina Fala, F A L L A H dot com. Okay. All right. So, so order from Sabrina Fala dot com um, as quickly as you can and as many copies. <laughs> as you can yes okay. please okay yes um so you had said um uh, earlier that green day kind of pushed you over the edge with regards to oh yeah <laughs> okay there <laughs> there you go so you're uh, a big green day fan and yes. you're that kind of pushed you 
into that style, um, like uh, almost pseudo punkish. Yes, thank you for saying punk. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I do sing a bit of punk, but it's more into the rock. Like there is some punky edge, but it's more rock. Like、okay. Green Day is is not punk. They're rock, but but they have that punk feel in their music. Sure. Yeah.、Um, when I first heard them, I was like, that that's it. That that's the feel. That's the sound. And I don't want to sound like them, so I I listen to them and get the feel, yeah. And then and then add that to my own style of music that I create, because I don't want to have people tell me, oh, you copied this band or you copied that band. I'm not I'm not trying to copy anybody. If I sound like someone, it's just because I sound like them. I didn't mean to copy them. Right. No, you know, I I mean, you can you can certainly.、Uh, Offer a tribute, you know,、uh, uh, to where you started, your roots, so to speak.、Mm-hmm. And, you know, if Green Day happens to be part of your roots, you know, then I definitely think that it will, you know, show in your music. Yes, and and, and I want it to show. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, Guns and Roses、mm-hmm. always offers up, you know, Aerosmith. Oh yeah. And you know, in the in the early phases of the the G and R. You know, you can hear the rawness, the roughness of you know early Aerosmith. Mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. I get that.、Um, mm-hmm. What、uh, when you do you perform with a band or is it just you? Depends on the show. If I need a band, I'll try to get people who don't want to be paid because <laughs> I, I'm not made out of money, right? So in this industry, everybody wants to be paid. So I try to get one person to play. Guitar to make it a two guitar band kind of thing,、yeah. or I play myself. Okay. But、um, I have played in bands because I try to make a band. Never happened. It's not the easiest thing, but okay. So that that's why I went solo to do it myself, and one day it will happen. But right now I'm doing well the way I am, and so uh, uh, mo- most most shows、uh, I'm doing now- solo. Are, are, yeah. Okay, singer songwriter. Yeah, basically, okay. yeah. Okay, all right.、Um, and you know, I, I mean, the I guess the the typical would be to well, golly gee, when's your next、uh, show? You know, so people <laughs> come out and see you. Well, but、uh, we can't. Or, yeah, I, we can't really、no. go down there. You'll just have to wait and see when it's posted. <laughs> right. And、uh, okay, so we have SabrinaFollow dot com. For uh, uh, all of the information that they need is there. Okay. All, everything's on that site. And、yeah. you have a Facebook page. It's there. Okay. It's on right, the、so、right hand. All the links. All the links. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. So SabrinaFollow dot com. Make sure to visit the page.、Um, and the do you have links to the music as well?、Um, uh, YouTube. YouTube. Okay.、Um, And do you have do you have any plans to kind of perform from your home live out? You know, like like all of these different programs that are available. Oh, you mean like Facebook Live and stuff? Yeah, yeah, d- the different. Yeah, probably, but it, it it will be like a surprise thing. I I won't be saying I'll be live. I'll be it'll be like a surprise. I like to surprise people. Okay. When when those things happen, yeah. Okay, so definitely. Uh, uh, Get on、yeah. Sabrina Fala Facebook page so that that <laughs> an opportunity. And it's interesting because you can do it on Twitter and and Instagram and YouTube now. All, all, of all the live. Yeah. Oh, I knew I I knew Facebook did, and I think I saw Instagram. I I didn't realize Twitter, but okay, that makes yeah.、Uh, so you can have like four phones going live in all of those social media. Wow. And people do it. Because different people go to different pages. Sure. Oh no.、Yeah. I, I mean, I get it.、Um, the industry as it is right now. It took you a little while to understand it before you could even, you know, start sending. You know, there are rules. I'm sure that you know. Hey, you can't just, you know, do this. You know, send me your material. You have、mm-hmm. to, you know. Uh, 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 step, step by step by step, 
if you right. give just you know a couple pieces of advice to mm -hmm. the new artists that are coming. Right. Not that you aren't a new artist. I know, I know, I know, but uh, I, I I know what you need to elevated. give them advice on how how to approach. Yeah. Um, first of all, make sure you have enough material, like songs, enough shows under your belt. Um, have a nice profile showing that you're updated that when you go in front of them you have something to show because um, they, they're they looking at all of that like the radio stations look at everything um, and and then you just have to believe that you're gonna get it and be positive because most of the time it's just praying and hoping that somebody says yes all you need is that one person to say yes, to give you that chance, and then it's like all the doors will open for you. Okay. And it, it, it goes fast. Once the once, once that first door. Once that first door opens, and then and then you're gonna be really happy that you did it right. Okay. And but at, but but sometimes you might miss a step, and you might still get it. Like you might not have something. Yep. It happens. But they're still, they're still interested. And 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 one more thing: be very nice. Okay. Don't sound like you're better than everybody because they don't want that. Be true to yourself. Be nice, um, and just be friendly. Yeah. Okay. Just be be yourself and show them who you are, and they'll definitely accept you. Yeah. And if uh, if you weren't involved in music right now, <laughs> what would I be doing? Where are you going? What do you <laughs> do? I would love to be a detective. I, I love watching um, mystery movies and the one the crime beat shows and all this stuff like that. And I actually try to solve the crime as they're solving it and i'm actually i'm actually getting it you know like yeah so laura uh, so if, if for whatever reason and hopefully it never comes to pass um hopefully we have law enforcement in the background then i can always do it <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> but i hear it's um there's a lot of privacy and keeping things to yourself and Sure. You can't say things, so that's a problem. <laughs> I'm, a, I, I'm a big talker, but but it, um, if that's something I, I would, that's why I like watching those kind of movies. I I, I love being the detective. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Okay, all right. Yeah. yeah, do, yeah. do you think uh, I'm going to back up for a second? Do you yeah. think it's important to have your own website versus uh, just the social media pages? Yes, because it's good to go to one page to have everything on it. Makes it easier for everybody. So it's so so you think it's uh, uh, far more critical to have SabrinaFala.com than Sabrina Fala Music at Facebook. You know. Yes, because the website le links to everything, and also the website tells you who the artist is. Okay. Not every social media is going to have bio and links to everything. Right. You go to Twitter, they just see your, your 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 Twitter links. But who is that person? Right. Where can I go to read about that person? Even if it's just five sentences. Who who is that person? And what do you uh, uh so when you're when you're going and creating um on your uh, sabrinafala.com page, mm -hmm. you take into account the fact that, okay, you know what, I got to make sure that this is linked, this is linked, um, give me the music, uh, how can they purchase, uh, like, so they can't, um, right now anyway, they can't purchase um, like a, a, a CD online. They can purchase the digital Oh, the, down like the, amp to the downloads, but the okay. CDs, they have to come to me personally. Okay. All right. Yeah. And, but they can get in touch with you. They can email me from my website. There's a contact link. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
Do you have a favorite song that you like to perform? At of mine? Of yours. One Chance. <laughs> One Chance. All right. So, and that is, uh, uh, there's links to uh, yes. that song all over sabrinafala.com. Oh, yeah. Do you have a, uh, a, a YouTube for it as well? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, video? yeah. Good, good, good. Okay. So, <laughs> One Chance is Sabrina Fala's favorite song, so make sure to check it out. All right. <laughs> Uh, is that the one that opened the doors for you? That's the one that was on my first EP that I, I recorded in England with Stuart Epps, Alton John's producer, Oasis. Oh, yes. how, and, uh, and how did you how did you meet Stuart Epps? Oh, Algonquin College. I went to college and uh, I was in the pre-production music program and we had a producer's class and that day he was talking to us on Skype and I didn't know that they were on video. Um, Stewart saw me sitting on the, in the, I think it was on the right hand side of the classroom. And I was very shy then, so I had my hoodie up and I was trying to hide from everybody for some reason. Too funny. But I was, I, <laughs> now I'm like, I want to show everybody who I am. But um, he, he was asking questions like who plays guitar, who sings, who writes. And I kept raising my hand and then he picked on me talked to me for a bit mm -hmm. and then told my teacher to give his email to me. And then a year later I, I recorded with him. Fantastic. And then I came out of the classroom going, dad, I am talking to Stuart Epps. <laughs> <laughs> and, they... and, and you know, what's interesting, these things happen when you don't expect it to, a lot of things just happen on the spot. So, so you flew over to England. Oh, I hate flying, but it was a, but I just slept the whole way, I think, because I, I don't like being in the air for okay. too long. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you flew over. How long were you over there uh, uh, creating? A week, a week. Okay. And how many? And yes, I was jet lagged. <laughs> I'm sure. How, um, <laughs> how many songs did you get to uh, record with him? Five. We chose, before I went there, we chose five out of the 10 songs I had for the record. Yeah. Um, and is that, uh, and, and forgive me, you know, obviously I don't want the financial information, but was that something that he offered his services to you? Was there some type of payment, you know, uh, to open the door with regards to, you know, obviously a man like Stuart Epps is Probably it, not. Going it's to not. It, it, let's just say, is expensive. Okay, <laughs> that's good. But uh, but he was nice to us. Let's just say that he he was very nice. Okay. All right. So you got five songs with Stuart. Mm -hmm. And when you came home, were you? I like, got I got the masters and it sounded great. It sounded exactly the way I wanted it to. Old school Green Day. Like during the Dookie days. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So, and again, so did you have, did he have a backing band or was it just? Yes. Oh, he we, did? Uh, I sang live off the floor. So with the band together, I sang. Awesome. So it, it, it wasn't like sing one line, copy and paste. I sang the whole thing like I was on stage. No copy and paste. So the way I sang it is the way I, I would sing it live. Okay. And that's, yeah. that's important, don't you think? I yes. Mean, and, it, and, and he also told me that he thought it would be better for me to sing it that way because he didn't see me as an artist who would be doing it copy and paste. That, yeah. that, that's, yeah. that's kind of saying something. You mm. know, if a, if a producer already hears you you know, as a live performer in his head. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, that says a little something. Yeah, and 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 he w and the bandmates and everybody who was there took care of me, gave oh. me tea, gave me sandwiches, and I would try to speak British too, and they would laugh at me because I'm the Canadian, <laughs> the Canadian accent with the British accent didn't work very well, but it was funny. Okay, all right, so. But it was a good process for you. It was a good time. I would definitely do it again. I would go back there and do it again. Yeah. All right. So at this point, 
you're being played on mainstream radio. What's next? What What do you think the next rung of the ladder to success is for Sabrina? Getting a hit on the on the mainstream stations, a, a hit song, and that's going to take some time. But the songs just have to keep spinning, as they are. So, so the, and and one day, it's going to hit. One day, hopefully sooner than later. But it takes time. Yeah. But that that's how it works. I mean, and I also want to tour when we can get out of our homes. <laughs> oh, sure. uh, yes. No. I, <laughs> I I think having the um, the presence, you know, out and about mm -hmm. is is critical nowadays. Yeah. You have to, you know, as they say, press the flesh um, because you can't, uh, you can't, I don't think you can be a mainstream artist in any way, shape or form unless people know who the heck you are. I've always wanted to be on mainstream and I, w and I worked so hard and told my myself, I'm going to get on it no matter how long it takes. You know, and it took me over a year, and finally, I got that one interest. Yep. And then, and then it went from there. And and, and, and not for nothing. Again, using Aerosmith, I, I'm a huge yeah. fan. Yeah. But you know, there when the first album came out and the first mm -hmm. single, Dream On. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It took you know it, it boggles my mind, you know, that to think that radio state it took a year for really? radio stations to understand who this band was and to start <laughs> playing it. You know, so the so the album came out in 73. Mm -hmm. Mon didn't hit the charts until 74. You know, so you, what you just That's, said, you know, yeah. it takes time, you know, even for even for a big band. You I, know. And look at them, they're huge. Yeah. And, and, and then it took them so long, yeah. Yep, yep, so. Um, Obviously, uh, 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 stay true to you. Keep fighting. Uh, oh, I, I don't give up that easily. I, uh, I was, I wasn't fighting. I just kept pushing. And that's it. That's, yeah. You got it. Please, pretty please. <laughs> <laughs> and how many different um, interviews so far? Uh, oh, for mainstream. Yep. Uh, I've had two so far. Two. Okay. So that again, the door's opening, and and now we we just need to. Uh... Some are coming, but because of the whole uh, lockdown, yeah, um, they want things to be going back to normal before they can do more interviews. So okay. I do have some waiting to be set up, but because of everything, everything is being slowed down. Sure, sure. Yeah. But now, I and again you're using this time productively to continue to build your brand. Oh yeah, uh, I'm not letting this lockdown stop me from doing what I'm doing. Things are taking longer to, to get, it's taking longer to, to get response from some of the people, yeah. but I'm still doing it because I'm not letting this stop me from doing what, what I love. Right. So yeah, and, and I'm getting a lot of acceptance on, on radio during this time, but it's taking a long time to get it. Sure. But I'm, I'm getting it, so I just keep going. Do you have um, a, uh, uh, w what people would call a regular job uh, in addition no. to music? This is it. I am signed too. Okay. Didn't... So having a, re so I, I told my parents, I know I, I know I haven't made like the money, money, money yet, but I need this time to create and to do things. And I need some time for radio because if I had a regular job, I wouldn't be able to sit on the computer half the day sending stuff to, to radio all the time. Right. So, so, so I feel if I had a job, I wouldn't be on mainstream right now. Okay. Because I spent a lot of time when focusing you say on you're, that. When you say you're signed, um, there is one particular company that you're uh, 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 that is helping you. Uh, yeah. Okay. And do you have? Did you did you want to reveal who that who you're? Yeah, sure. Dance Plan Records, and I'm getting distributed through 
The Orchard, which is through Sony Music. Okay. Yeah. Dan and, I, and I'm really happy, and things are going very good right now. Okay. Things are happening. Yeah. All of that info again on SabrinaFala.com. Uh, in my bio, yes. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't really splatter it because <laughs> you don't have to splatter everything. Sure. But but it is on my Facebook in some places. But um, uh, I, I'm sure people know I'm signed, but I'm not the type to go out there and say, "Hey guys." Look at sign like I'm signed. Yeah, I'm I'm not the type to to throw that in people's faces. Um right. I, I let them fit I let the people fit figure it out once things start happening and I'm getting on this station and that station. Um I do mention that that, that I'm signed when I submit to mainstream. Sure. And that I think has helped me a lot too. Yep. That I have a team helping me. Yep. Be behind the scenes as well. And so. even, and I'm sure, you know, uh, they are, you know, uh, keeping you pushing forward, you know, uh, in, in positive light, even if, you know, perhaps you're having an off day, you know, well, always count. Well, yeah, well, at the beginning when things weren't happening, my, my, my label was always telling me, you know, if you think always negative, it's not going to help. So I just got more positive. Very good. And then I told myself, okay, God will bring it, let it happen when it's the right time. And it took some time, but it got to the right person to accept it. Right. And then I'm like, okay, now I'm really positive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard to stay up, but you have to, it helps. Positiveness, definitely. Uh, uh, it helps a lot. Helps. Yeah. It, it goes out to the universe, like people say, Talk to the universe or something, and it helps, and it does. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, again, you're you're an up and coming artist. You're doing your own music. You are certainly. I, I mean, I've listened. To, thank thank you very much for uh, uh, the songs that you've uh, uh, mm -hmm. given me. When when I listen to them, you know, obviously with a blank slate, you know, because right. I don't have any preconceived notions on who Sabrina Fowler was mm -hmm. uh, or is. Uh, mm -hmm. My first impression was just pure. Literally, that word came to mind, pure. Aww. You know, because it was, um, when you listen to the lyrics, you know, right. you had mentioned it earlier, you know, that if you don't feel it, how can you sing it? Right. So, uh, and it's clear, you know, that the words, the lyrics came from you and are being produced by you. Yeah. You're singing them because there's a lot of emotion um, uh, in the in the lyrics. There's certainly a lot of the, uh, the, the writing structure that you use mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. clearly the best for you. You know, uh, because I, I, I'm not sure that I would have a, you know, a, a critique, you know, uh, <laughs> a negative critique, if you will, uh, on any of the on any of the twelve songs. I mean, I've listened to twelve. Thank you. And Thank that's, you. Uh, it, they, they define a picture, and I would. I, I, they, I would there, stick. there is a story, and you yep. can see the picture, and. Uh, I write songs about what people go through and what I've been, so they're very personal. Yep. And and I also write songs to help others, so I'm hoping when they hear it, they're not alone, and 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 what they've gone through, because nobody is, is alone in life. A, a lot of people have gone through similar situations. Sure. Yeah. Sure. All right, SabrinaFala.com is where they need to go. Yeah. Um, any parting messages, my dear? Parting messages. Don't give up on what you love. Go for it, and you will succeed. Awesome. Great words. Up-and-coming artists. Uh, you know, you're carrying the torch, 
you know, uh, in, into the into the new age for the music. Uh, mm -hmm. What I've heard, you're carrying it uh, proudly, strongly, and marching Thank you. forward. I, I really look forward to all of the new material. I look forward. To Me too. <laughs> <laughs> when I can get into the studio and get things going because you know I, I am writing it but I just want to get into the, into the studio because that's where the the, the, the craft the, everything happens and sometimes in the studio other things come to mind so um, sure. Sure. sometimes you, you know I write a song I go into the studio it turns out into something different but even better better so excellent well, we shall stay in touch again. Um, yes, please. The, yeah. uh, I, I will uh, pass this along um, to to my editor in chief, Envious Music Mag, and um, we'll, we'll definitely stay in touch. And uh, oh yes, we'll uh, for the next update. Something the, for the next update. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you, you, Something they, else that happens, I'll get in touch with you. I, yeah, I would hope. I would hope that we uh, are on that short list. That um, oh yes, I stay I stay in touch with everybody. So. That is great. That is great. Yes. SabrinaFowler.com. Make sure you check it out um, to all of you in listener land. Uh, <laughs> thank you so yeah. much for your time. Thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed it. I really did. Super thank you. And we will we'll stay in touch. Um,